Hey everyone, welcome to Telly Talks, where we talk about life, growth, relationships, and all things in between. I have a very special guest with me today, practitioner Ahmed. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Thank you fun. for flying back from Paris <laughs> on your amazing trip to Ibiza. You were in Ibiza. I was in Ibiza, Spain. First oh time. my gosh. First time going how, to Europe. How was it? Cheers to Ibiza. Cheers. Ibiza is an experience. I would definitely go. Oh my gosh, I have to. Ibiza's like, it's like the Hawaii for for america like everybody just goes there for vacation right so it's and like, like all summertime. of europe they go there yeah so if, if if you're in europe and your country's cold or windy or cloudy like okay we're gonna go to Ibiza for the summer right so like that's Ibiza was amazing like i heard about it because you know the song take a pill in Ibiza mm -hmm. but then all my patients that were coming to the clinic were i had like 20 maybe 20 patients like i'm going to Ibiza i'm going to Ibiza not even know each other but they're all going I'm like What's going what on is, over there? First of all, where is Ibiza? What is it? Like, why is everybody going? Look it up. Right. It's like an island outside of Spain. And all the beautiful women are just going there. I was like, okay, if you it's guys are going, I'm going. It's time like, to go. I'll, it's time to go. Because LA has been pretty much cold. The yes. Whole. It just started. It just started. So, okay, let me, let me go there. I'm fingers crossed that it stays, it stays hot, hot until like yeah, November. Exactly. <laughs> I go At there least. and like everybody is, first of all, the women, the women of Spain, are, they all have like amazing DNA, amazing genetics. They all have an hourglass figure. They're all healthy weight, and and the they age very though. well. <laughs> they look great. Oh, I gotta and go. Go to Ibiza. It's uh, it's they're talking about all these like these dating shows, all these islands. They should have one in Ibiza. Like that's I don't see why perfect, they haven't. It's yet. a perfect spot. Perfect spot. It's like a party. Like it, you would think it's like Cancun or something where you know yeah. you would have something there filmed for some type of dating. Really? Or... It's a melting pot. You have every. Every language is there. Every accent, they're all, they're all, they're all there. That's I, crazy. I met, How I far met, was it from here? About fourteen hour flight. Ooh. So from from you go from here to Amsterdam or Paris, and then another two three hours. So it was fourteen hours. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Sleep the whole way. Yeah. My my return flight was, I had, I had to stay ten hours in Paris before it flies back to LAX. So I was like, I'm gonna take this opportunity to just tour the entire city. Absolutely. So I, as soon as I land the plane, I go straight to to the Eiffel Tower, and then because it's only lit up for a few hours. Then I rented like electric bike and just toured the whole city at like two, three a.m. It's dead empty. So I saw like wow. every monument for like for eight hours before I went back to the airport and flew right here. That's fun though. Like you got to actually tour and like that's that's how you do a only in town for one mm -hmm. night thing where you're just like I'm seeing everything. It's clear. No one's yep. out. So it's just like you in the city. Exactly. That's so the best. I saw that now. Took a picture. Rode a bike around it. Hit a restaurant and. And no one is there, and That's crazy. everybody there's pretty much foreign. Like everybody there speaks a lot of Arabic and a lot of English. So it's, it's very easy, very easy. Paris, yeah, it feels a lot like New York. Like I was in Manhattan. Mm, I can like see it. that. So I, I feel like I pretty much achieved everything I'd want to do in Paris in like t maybe one day. That's it. That's crazy. Go there one day, you're satisfied. Just leave because yeah. I probably on my next adventure I want to go to because I want to explore Europe. Yeah, what other people other people look like, what they're doing. How are they healthy? What do they look like? All that. So I probably want to go to like Madrid, go to Germany, you know, go to London and just look at what other people are doing compared to what we do. Because right. Now we're de <laughs> we're definitely very yeah. different than how Europe is and just other continents mm -hmm. in general. Like we're very much, um, I don't even know what the word is. I guess like spoiled when it comes to like food when it comes to oh, yeah. freedom when it comes to lifestyle it's just like spoiled you exactly. know compared to other cultures and other countries and continents and it's it's yeah. very very different we're not even that medically advanced compared to like turkey or south korea oh yeah so i want to go there and be like okay what because whatever they do there pretty much we're going to do it three years later mm -hmm. once it passes the FDA regulations we're going to do whatever's the new skincare or the oh, new filler, new, new threads, yeah, whatever new procedures, we'll get it three years later. So I'm gonna go there and see what, what are the, what are they doing here to stay beautiful, young, skinny, healthy? Because in, in Spain, like the food was, it felt clean, fresh, like it was the eating off the land. And uh, America was still there. You still had all the fast food. Yeah. You still had all the, all the like chocolate, McDonald's everything. Yeah, it was that, all there. Yeah. The food, the food there is cheap and convenient. Mm -hmm. But in and smaller portions. I feel yeah. like everywhere in in the world exactly. has like actual proportion size yeah. food, not like you know we're getting um, 
uh, uh, what's the what's the thing that they say that's like um, super size me? Mm -hmm. Like you know the super size size with all our you portions. consume you don't feel full. Yes, but there like you will, you'll have like a burger and fries and you're full. Honestly, like I ate like one or two meals a day and I was I was completely satisfied. So do you feel like it's like the 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 like steroids and things that are injected in our food that's not making us like fulfilled? Yeah, I think I think there's a there's a addict. It's gonna be like. We have preservatives in here in our food, but also there might be other addictive substances in there that makes you want to crave or think about or remember the food you had. Even though like, you know, the memory or the taste hits your mouth, but then when you go eat it again, it's, it doesn't match what you what you remember. But I didn't feel that at all there. The, the food I ate there was, like, I was satisfied. I didn't want to eat, eat, I didn't want to eat anymore. Versus yeah. come here, you're like, okay, I eat, I eat again, and then eat again. Yeah. And you're just over consuming. Yeah, and that's, the, that's what I feel like obesity and all that comes mm -hmm. in okay so we're gonna backtrack yes for the people that don't know your journey tell us how you got to where you are today okay so i'm from alabama and roll tide roll tide <laughs> so i came from alabama because alabama is pretty slow you know it's just traditional medicine yeah. you either work you either work in a hospital or you work in a clinic and it's kind of boring so i figured like let me my sister's already here she's doing residency for for surgery so i was like I, let me come here see what la is doing that's that's more fun and not as traditional as being hospitalist or doing family care mm -hmm. so I, I came here i started doing at first i started doing um home health hospice i was doing concierge and then i started treating a lot of stem cell patients car accidents personal injury and people that they people that are trying to avoid surgery by doing stem cells because because that's once you do surgery there's no going back so once you get right. to your place sort of place there's no going back so i started doing stem cells to for patients that that didn't want to do surgery or want to postpone surgery but they want to improve their range of motion the functionality reduce the pain so i was doing a lot of stem cells here so that's 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 how when i first started growing and then and then stem cells and then um aesthetics started, started to grow because because during during COVID, pretty much everybody want to get healthier and healthier and thanks to social media more and more women have have money and and they spend money on aesthetics beauty right. weight loss uh, how they look so that's it's really started to grow like nobody sees botox as no one's ashamed about botox anymore no one's ashamed about right no, especially about, here yeah no one's ashamed that no one hides it you get a, right. you get a nose job you're talking to the doctor you get you get botox and you're recording and posting it so, right so and for me like i see i see botox as you're just reducing the appearance or depth of a wrinkle you just right, you're not really you're not changing anything right you just you just anti-aging aging, aging the body in this and so that's how I started going to aesthetics, going to weight loss, and I I like I like to I like to treat healthy patients. I like to treat patients who they they want to improve, versus yes. versus people that just want to pill to manage their life, to manage what they're doing. Right. So you'll you know they'll take medication that that will that's pretty much what traditional medicine is. You give you instead of you changing just to fix the problem, hey take this pill to manage to manage you. So here's a pill, manage your blood pressure, manage your cholesterol, instead of you know, walking more, eating less, st stuff that can actually fix all your problems. Like, right. The biggest factor is- Health it, is a lifestyle change. Use. That's what yes. people need to understand. It's mm -hmm. not a quick fix. It's not something that you can just take a pill or a shot or something that like overnight you're gonna just lose all this weight. No, exactly. you have to like change your eating habits. You have to change, you know, you have to work out. You have to do all these things and make it your lifestyle and not just take a pill or take a shot and think that it's all going to go away if you're still eating the same or exactly, if you're still, yeah. you know, not working out or not taking care of yourself. Yeah, because your, your body, if you look at your body, your body has two ages. You have a chronological age, you have a biological age. So chronologically, you're as old as the day you're born. But biologically, you can, you can, if you start, if you sleep good, six to eight hours, you eat healthy, you exercise, you can, you can, you can, body can function like it's 25 years old, but you're 32 or 35. Like say if you have like a, let's say Toyota, because those cars, they never die. You have a Toyota that you take good care of it. You keep, you maintain it, keep it, you keep it out of the sun and it, it runs, it still runs like it's brand new. So biologically, you can, you can, you can look like you're 25, even though you're maybe 40, but, and you still look, you, you function, you have the energy of a 25 year old because you're taking care of yourself. Chronologically, you're 40. Biologically, you're, your body, your energy, your 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 cells are, are working efficiently to where you, you your, your face doesn't look dehydrated. You don't have shallowness. You have mm -hmm. energy. You're sleeping, taking care of yourself, because even if you look at your blood work, your blood work is just uh, it's the result of how you take care of yourself. 
but yeah, yesterday and one year from now. So if you, your body has like five requirements, sleep, six to eight hours, no less than six, no more than eight. You need water for hydration, food for nourishment, food for energy, and then just exercise. It could just be as simple as just walking stairs. If you do all five of those, you can, you can be very healthy, but most people only can only do two or three of those. And that's when you, your body's inflamed. You, you don't, you don't feel tired all the time. You don't feel good at the time. And you don't, you don't, and you look older than you actually are. So do you think out of those five, what is the most essential one to, to, uh, to I'd get? say sleep in water. I struggle with, I struggle with sleep and I struggle with nourishment. Calories are easy. Yeah. I drink, drink a ton of water and I can work out. Yeah. But it's sometimes it's at when night. I sleep. Sometimes it's like the timing of sleep is also very important. Like you want to sleep when the sun is down. You don't want to sleep when the sun is up. And and I like to drink my vegetables. I don't like to eat. Right. <laughs> I don't like to eat my vegetables. I like I like to just drink it, get it over with. Right. But it's definitely sleep. There's there's no pill. There's no drug. There's nothing I can give you to fix bad sleep. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can give you to fix dehydration. Because if you look at the dehyd dehydration is not okay my mouth is dry no dehydration is you you're, you're low energy you're in a bad mood body aches you just you don't you don't have the drive you can't focus no clarity that's dehydration right and a lot of people don't realize it but they had this is the symptoms of dehydration you fix you fix you drink enough water like you should feel good your body feels good your mind feels good because it's it's hard to be in a positive mentality and joyful and happy when your body doesn't feel good right so, absolutely so if your body feels good your mentality feels good that's why you see an improvement in your and in, in your mental health if people are working out they're eating healthy uh actually i had a I had a patient i was coming to clinic and she was coming for vitamin drips she was doing nad she was she was feeling great her skin was glowing she was like she's like my my son went to the doctor and, and we're trying to figure out if he has autoimmune all his inflammatory markers are elevated i was like bring him in and and then she brought the body in the blood work and i didn't even look at the blood work i set it aside I was my first question is, I, asked, I was asking her to sign up. Like, do you sleep? He was like, I was like, he was like, I sleep three to four hours a day. I was like, are How you old sleep? was her son? Like twenty four. Oh wow. His all his inflammatory markers were elevated. His blood work that wasn't. They're trying to look for an autoimmune to see what's going on. I, first question is, like, are you sleeping? No. You're drinking water, uh, sodas, and playing video games. So he wasn't sleeping. Wasn't drinking water, and now and he looked at blood work. You're like, okay, what's going on? And it was as simple as I told him, and because he came and got a vitamin drip, so we can fix the, the hydration issue. Right. And I told him, I was like, you're you're living off of your youth. You're 24 years old. You have maybe around 25, 27, where you can long longer depend on your youth, and if you have a bad lifestyle. Right. So if you if you're if you can have a bad lifestyle, you're gonna wake up in the morning and, and feel terrible. You can, so you're running out. You're running out of youth. So that's what that's how that's what he was, and it, it was and it's showing his blood work that. You know, if you're not sleeping good, you're not drinking water. This is this is a result. Your your body's inflamed right. because all your healing, all your recovery happens at night when you sleep. So if you're not sleeping, you're not you're not gonna be able to recover from the from the prior day. So your body's gonna be inflamed. And and for him, that's what his issue was. He wasn't sleeping. He was drinking water. And his mother was like, "Well, maybe he has autoimmune. Doctors know what's going on. It's simple." He started he started sleeping on a routine. Your body needs routine. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing every single day, and and cause that's what he was lacking. He was lacking sleep. He was lacking water. He was lacking lacking nourishment. And he wasn't even walking. So he was doing he was doing nothing. He was doing nothing correctly. And it, immediately within like two weeks, he was sleeping. He life energy. He's not sitting at home. When the sun is up, he's out. When the sun right. is down, he's home. So all that changed v very rapidly by just fixing fixing those five daily requirements that the body needs. Oh, that's essential essential for everyone to know really because it's like you know you think that i mean obviously other things inflame you too mm -hmm. like you know certain foods especially with me like pastas rice um to where you you mentally think like it do i have a gluten problem do i have a starch problem mm -hmm. do i you know then you almost want to overanalyze all the, the other things but you just go back to like the main root of hey this is what you need to function exactly. and if you're not getting this because my my issue is sleep like i do not sleep at all like maybe like you said like two to three hours a day four maybe five you know and um my daughter has eczema so i'll wake up in the middle of the night when she wakes up and then i'm up for another couple hours and it's next thing i know it's five o'clock and i'm like okay well i gotta go to sleep now <laughs> you know the sun's starting to come up and then you're like okay well 
you know, it's 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And in I'm just waking day, up. You're like, yeah, you're like, I got to get I got to get to work. Yeah. So it's, then you're like rushing. Then you're, you know, behind because it's already the middle of the day. But you're exhausted, mm -hmm. you know, like you're tired, you're drained. But then, you know, you still have to get things done. One thing I do do is drink a ton of water. Good, like good. that's I don't drink sodas. Um, if I do drink any other juices, it'll be like, you know, a healthy juice with like turmeric or mm -hmm. um, cayenne pepper, ginger, something that's healthier um, or water. That's it. Or if I'm out and about socially, I'll drink liquor. But that's not like, you know, something that I consume all the time, yeah. maybe like once, once every other week or twice every two weeks or something like that yeah, for social for yeah social, social for yeah but not like on an everyday everyday water 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 mm -hmm. water water but my issue is 110 percent sleep for sure that's my issue too i'm working on it i just stopped off i was slipping in and out, out of the plane but sleep is number one i can't i don't like i'm at my age a lot of people think i'm like they think i'm like because i was when i was at visa everybody's guessing my age they think i'm like 27 20 i was like mm -hmm. thank you i'm, I'm 32 but when I, I'm healthy now than when I was 27. When I was 27, I was, I was taking, I was just working hard and, and not taking advantage of my, of my health. I was like, I was just throwing my youth away, just working, working, working. I gained a lot of weight. I think, I think uh, this time two years ago, I was probably like 285, pushing 285, and then because I was like, I'm just, I'm here to make money, I'm here to work, right. and I, my, my health, I didn't care about my health. And you look so good. I remember the first change. time I, yeah, no, the first time I saw you compared to now is like a whole different person. Mm -hmm. How much weight did you lose in total? Initially, so I went from 285 to 240 pretty fast in a matter, maybe, maybe a matter of like, of like six months. And what, what first started was I started having breathing issues. Like mm -hmm. the weight, see, body weights is increased stress, increased weight on the body, which means increased stress and workload. So I started having breathing issues to the point to where I can't, I can't lay on my back without having to be like, okay, that, that felt that different. Like my, my breathing pattern changed. Was usually your, your breathing pattern is autonomic. You, you know, it's body does on its own, but then I lay on my back. I'm like, okay, I take it. I had to take a little deeper breath and I had a constant body sweat going on. So my weight was too much for my body to handle. Mm. And that's when I was like, okay, I have to do something. I have to do something because right now my weight is crushing me. My, my it's constantly sweating and my breathing my breathing changed to where to where i had to reposition myself to be able to breathe comfortably exactly and so because i shouldn't have to think about breathing right but when i lay when i lean back or lay on my lay on my back oh i my, i had a, had a slight struggle so it's something small where you're like oh, like a shock okay i have to make a change because this is not this is not good for me right so the what i was so my brother was same issue as me. My brother's one year younger, who's sitting the same weight as me, two seventy five, and but for him, he was he, he was he was pre high pre hypertensive, pre diabetic, high cholesterol. He had the trifecta. He just he just he's pretty much around eighty pounds overweight. Same as me. Mm -hmm. We're like five nine, eighty pounds overweight. So his doctor put him on on Ozempic to treat his his uh, pre diabetes, and he instantly lost like thirty pounds. And this is back in like uh, twenty twenty one. So he lost 30 pounds off of it. And then and I was like, I'm in the same. Before Ozempic was even a before, thing. Before it was even a thing. Right. So he was he, he lost 30 pounds off of it. And I was like, I'm the same boat as you. We're both working hard, not taking care of our health. We're both pretty much becoming pre-hypertensive, high cholesterol. And, and for me, I wasn't. But I can I can tell, like, my, my heart was slightly increasing. My blood pressure was slightly increasing. I was like, okay, we're in the same boat. If you work for you, it can work for me. So I also... I also got on Ozempic and then that's what, sh that's what started everything. I lost like 15 pounds in the first month. Oh wow. And then that's, that's like, okay, that's, that's all I needed to initiate. The healthy journey. Because I'm, because all it took for me was I, eat, I didn't eat at night. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I knew that that worked. That's my I would, issue too. Eating at yeah, night. Eating night is probably the, the worst thing you can do because I eat at, your, your digestive ability is not very efficient at night. Your best metabolism is when the sun is up daylight hours. So you you have actually very good digestion in the morning and and good digestion midday, because so you suppose you should wake up in the morning eat breakfast, because for sixty hours while you're sleeping there's no food sugar water intake so you're actually fasting while you sleep, so first thing in the morning you, your brain needs sugar, in the morning and your body needs water, that's what it that's what needs to function, 
And so if you, if you don't give that to your body, then your body's going to be start, it's going to, it's hungry and it needs a fuel source. Your body cannot run on an empty tank. Your body's like a car. So your car is not cranked with that, with a gasoline. So you're in, and your body needs energy. So if you're not giving your body food, then your body's going to look at muscle mass and bone density as a, as a fuel source, because your entire body is made of muscle, muscle and bone. Everywhere there's bone, there's muscle. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people think, okay, I'm just going to wake up in the morning and my first meal is going to be noon. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this, this type of fasting and it's going to burn fat. It's not, you actually don't have that much fat compared to muscle and bone. You have a, you have probably this much muscle and bone. You have this much, this much fat. You like some people have 15, 20, 30 percent, uh, body fat percentage, but then the rest of your body is 70, 80 percent muscle and bone. So you, you should eat, you should eat breakfast. Breakfast is, breakfast is fuel because you don't want to jeopardize losing muscle mass abundance. That's how you protect your muscle mass abundance is when you eat when food is nourishment, food is energy. That's all food is to us. That if means you, eat your breakfast, mm -hmm. guys. If, if you're eating for pleasure, joy, boredom, Netflix, social entertainment, or just routine, you're going to overconsume. And that's what yeah. that's what America is compared to other countries. The other countries, yes. they're pretty much eating for nourishment, for energy, but they're not eating for for social gatherings or pleasure entertainment right and and that's that's, that's me and a lot of hands. people they skip it because <laughs> yeah. they think okay i'm going to eat fast i'm going to eat it's good to eat at 11 but you wake up at 7 6 a.m that those four to five hours where did the energy come from so how do you manage like for for like for me for example right i woke up this morning and i haven't ate i had a green juice this morning which is similar to i guess mm -hmm. eating drinking, drinking the juices. vegetables yeah, yeah. So then um, I'm here all day until probably 7, 8, 9 p.m. And then that's when I get my first meal, mm -hmm. my actual like solids in, you know. So how do I go about like not eating well, it's, it's, earlier? It's about, it's about routine. So I want you to wake up in the morning and be like, okay, why did you wake up in the morning? For a lot of people, it's my job. It's my school. So right. they put they put that first. Right. But what is the vehicle that's going to get you to your job, to your work? It's, it's your body. What does your body need? So wake up in the morning, what does my body need, body need? Get a routine. My body needs food and exercise. So so put that first. If you put food on your schedule, put put your health first, then ev everything else will take care of itself. Your job, your money, all that will come. But your and your body is what's going to take you there. Your your health is everything. Is everything. Because you can make you can make all this money. I see I see all the time. They they worked hard. This company, this company, they made all this money in the fifties, sixties, and then they're gonna start chasing. They're gonna take that money and start chasing after health with it. Right. And this and since I was down the same path. My twenties, I just make money, and my when my it started to deteriorate. And I look at myself I'm like, oh, I looked I looked old. Twenty seven, I looked old. And now that now that I'm thirty two, I I feel better than I was when I was ever twenty seven. I feel better and I look and I look better. But if you wake up in the morning like, okay, I'm what does my body need? And put put your health first, right? Because because it, there's pl there's plenty of time. You just have to make time, but put put your health, your nourishment, your hydration on your schedule. Okay, I have to eat, and because you, your body needs routine, you have to have routine, routine, discipline. That's very important. And once you once you do that, you're like, okay, I can work harder. I can work longer. I have more focus. I have more clarity because you are eating, you are drinking, and and you're able you're able to do what you're trying to achieve much easier. Versus like, okay, I have to get through this day and then eat at night. Versus, I'm gonna I'm gonna take take a break, eat this, drink here, and and then I shouldn't eat at night, because right. because anytime you eat at night, your 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 ability to digest what you eat is not very efficient. So the food, the and a lot of times, a lot of times at night, you're just sitting or you're laying down, you're not even moving, and in the motility of your bowels walks when you get up and walk. So when you get up and move, you have better digestion. So the best thing to do after a meal, get up and walk. That helps you digest the food better. It helps to absorb more and it helps to get from your, from your stomach to your small intestines. So like how much walking do you need to do? I would just say a mile, mile a day. A mile a day. Mile okay. a day. I'm not saying like run around, do errands, like actually get up and, and walk. Some people, right. some people, the most they'll do is from their house to their car, a car to the, right. that's pretty much it. Yeah. Just, but walking is vital for blood circulation. That's why I say it's one of the five daily requirements on your body. But walking is vital for your digestion, the motility of your bowels, and also blood circulation. It's just get up and walk. So after a meal, get up and walk, and you'll you'll digest it much smoother, much much easier. But eat breakfast, eat lunch, and don't eat at night because eating at night is what is a lot of times the food system doesn't get digested, and and because it's not getting digested efficiently, it'll sit there, cause irritation, cause heartburn, and it actually ages you faster. 
whether you, whether you feel the heartburn, it's there naturally. If you, if you eat it late, late at night or after sunset, you're, you know, there's naturally heartburn there. You may not feel it until later on. I mean, some people, mm-hmm. it's based on how spicy the food is, but later on, it's like, you 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 know when you're getting old, no, and you start coming. getting heartburn. Yeah. Like oh I got I got heartburn. I never had that before. Well, you just, it's it's it builds up. So it, over time, if you keep eating late dinners, late dinners, it's actually aging faster because because it's you look yourself. You'll skip dinner today, like in the morning. Stomach's flat. You feel good. You look toned up. No bloatiness. And then tomorrow you eat dinner. You wake up. You're like okay, the scale shows I gained half a pound or a pound more. Right. And I don't look as toned up. Right. Because it, just just because even if it's small. But the fact that the food system has to get digested doesn't allow your GI tract the time to reboot, recover, and rest to get ready for tomorrow. So what do you feel like the best best thing for digestion or like getting like your... Because I feel like everything starts in your gut, mm-hmm. right? And as far as digestion goes, like, you know, TMI, it's hard for me to use the bathroom. like organically by myself Mm -hmm. you know so i've been taking um vitamins like acidophilus and um bio k just to like get me going you know so it's it's been helping a lot but like you said you know maybe i just need to do more like sleeping and walking and you know i think the timing of food is very important that's the timing because if if you eat food when you have great digestion because your GI tract is, is a system. It has hours of operation and needs hours of rest. So if you eat, let's say, if the same food you eat at dinner, it's, it's going to take a long time to dig- digest it. Mm-hmm. But if you eat that same meal in the morning, you can digest it very rapidly. And because you eat it in the morning or midday, the food you ate is going to use as energy throughout the day. Versus the food you eat at night is storage. Right. You eat breakfast, you eat lunch, That's that food is energy. You eat at night, you eat dinner, that food is storage. There's no, there's so no need for it. breakfast and lunch, you're burning off yeah. all day. Yeah, because you eat dinner, it's staying in your system. Yeah, you depart, because imagine at night, you're sitting down, laying down, you're not doing, you're not exerting any energy. And that's where all our weight comes yes. from, is that night mm-hmm. dinner, where we go out, we eat, we have exactly. good food, you know? So that's, again, that's my thing. Like, you know, I don't really go clubbing, I don't really go out, I love to eat, so I, and, obviously dinner mm-hmm. so it's an event like, social gatherings yes. and a lot of times it's, uh, i got invited to this party this event this was work and it's always always at, at, at night yeah and it's always food yeah it is and it's always food but then again it's that's that's what that's, that's what's aging you that's where you gain the weight because you you by night is when you need to recover Reco- if you want to if you want to maintain what you're doing because the goal is i want to be like this a year from now Right. I want to be able to do the exact same thing. I want to Absolutely. be able to work out, wake up, same routine. I want to maintain what I'm doing now, a year from a year from now. So, but, but that that all changes when your your routine's off and you're eating at night and you're inflaming yourself. So it's uh, first first I tell people, eat at the right time, and then make sure you're eating real food, in its natural state. Yeah. No longer do I say eat healthy. What does that mean? I don't know what it means anymore. Yeah, and there's healthy stuff that aren't really yeah. healthy. Because the, the word organic, vegan, vegan keto, right. it's all marketing. Marketing took over. Because yeah. you know, those, those words can mean, those words mean healthy to you, even though it's not. Because a lot of the vegan, organic stuff, the food's been altered from its natural state. Mm-hmm. So I want to like, eat an apple instead of, you know, take an apple that's been sliced up, dried, put two plastic wrapper and organic stuff on it. That's no longer in its, its healthy state. So I tell people not eat, eat real food in its natural state. And then make sure that food is all healthy. So I don't tell you to eat healthy food anymore because because that's it's very difficult here. Yeah. What's what's healthy, what's not healthy? Because pretty much if you're not cooking it, we don't know if it's healthy or not. Right. That's that's the hard part. And even even if you're even if you're cooking it, it's all like you know injected with so many different other mm-hmm. things where it's not in its natural state anymore. You know. Yeah. You have the steroids. You want your strawberries to be as big as nectars you know yeah, what I'm you see saying? the costco like, chickens you're like yeah it's huge yeah it's costco ch- I've, like i've seen i've seen chickens they're not that big. yeah you're even the organic like, apples are huge i'm like yeah, everything i thought organic like, was supposed to be like you know less less chemicals less yeah. additives but even the, the the organic apples are huge everything i yeah. feel like everything whether it's organic whether it's vegan and then they substitute it with other things like you know like you have um let's say for example energy drinks you know and then mm-hmm. they said there's no there's no added sugar but then they add like 
200 oh. grams of caffeine yeah, in it, yeah. you know, as that's opposed a, to like actual sugar. That's a good point about, about the, sh the sugar part because real sugar is fruit, honey, or cane sugar. Mm -hmm. That's because it's because it tastes like sugar in your mouth, but also when you ingest it, you know, you have beta cells in your pancreas th that can pull it in, or when you walk exercise, your muscles can actually pull it out of the bloodstream and pull it in. But that isn't, that's not the same for all the Splenda, Sativa, and all these other extracts. Because a lot of times, if you, if you see people, they have like bloatiness in their lower abdomen. It's, it's, not, it's not actual fat, it's just a mucus buildup. But a lot of times, all the stuff we ingest, if we can't, if our body can't process or excrete it, then where does it go? A lot of times it just sits in the, in the mucus lining and it sits in a, in a little um, lower abdomen pelvic area. It just, it just, whatever we ingest has to go somewhere. It doesn't, it sits there. Mm -hmm. But I tell people all the time, avoid fake sugar. Splenda, sativa, all those sugar alternatives, is it, it, it actually holds you back from losing weight. Anything, mm -hmm. anything that says sugar-free, zero calories, no carbs, don't touch it. Everything has calories, everything has carbs. Mm -hmm. And, but that's, that's what, that's why you have a pancreas. That's why you have beta cells, because it, it can regulate all, all that sugar. But if it's if it's not real sugar, if it's a sugar substitute, then where does it go? How does the body process it? How does it excrete right. it? So like, what does it utilize for? Yes, and that how does it excrete? Like you know that that I that real, I don't know real sugar. That I know because no, I did it. So it just sits. Yeah, I, I did I did a little test on me because I was I was big on energy drinks. My biggest um, poison to myself is energy. I like energy drinks. Uh -huh. But if you look at energy drinks, they're all says you know has one carb, two carb, one gram of sugar. It's all full of sugar substitutes all right. of sugar so i i cut for a week I, I came off all those energy drinks lost three pounds just like that because mm. i was doing everything correctly i was like, I'm losing that doing the diet the health the sleep the exercise i'm doing it all correctly but it, i was i knew for a fact i was like, okay i gotta cut the energy drinks but right. i cut the energy drinks and i lost three pounds but because the energy drink was had all these these sugar Additive. substitutes that was yeah. preventing me from losing weight so 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 it might get, make you gain weight but it's definitely not going to help you lose weight Mm -hmm. So if you want to lose weight, just get rid of all the sugar substitutes. This, it, even like, even like, a lot of the foods or coffee creamers we have here are banned in other countries. Mm -hmm. If so, a lot of times you're you're just you think that okay, I'm gonna have this sugar-free vanilla coffee or, and this coffee this coffee creamer is what's full of calories and it's not as calories and chemicals and that's what's preventing you from losing weight. So I don't, I avoid that too. It just stay as stay as natural and real. Like just add honey. Right. But you're adding, you're adding like the Splenda, the, Splenda, the Sativa, the all, you're adding all this yeah. into there trying to make it taste better. But but how is your body going to process and get it out? And right. I, I promise you, if you cut out all that sugar substitutes, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to help you to lose even more weight versus consuming all those all those bad sugars. Oh, man. Real sugar is good for you. Because and it's in and it's in like pineapples mm -hmm. and you know all in just like just there's ways to eat healthy i feel like and and that's what i feel like people's mentality kind of leads leads towards where it's like healthy food is not yummy food yeah and i don't want to eat it because it won't taste good or you know i don't want to eat my greens and stuff like that but i feel like you could eat healthy just have smaller portions like actual real portions yeah. like palm size portions not like american size portions where it's like you know your plate doesn't have to be a mountain mm -hmm. of food on your plate it could just be like all right you have your chicken and it's this much chicken and you have your spinach and it's this much spinach you know not where it's just like you're 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 eating to get full all the time you yeah. know like all right, I'm full, but I still got food on my plate. Yeah, you, you, know, don't, you don't feel are, satisfied. Oh yeah, I was talking yeah. about too, eat, finish the plate. Even though I was hungry, I had to finish the plate, but a lot of times I'm eat, I, especially the food I eat here, I eat it, I'm like, I'm, I'm not full yet. I'm not satisfied yet. Like what's, what's going on? I'm just not, I'm not full. Right. Versus you go, to, I went to Spain, I'm like, okay, I'm full after eating this, this burger and fries, I'm full. I'm satisfied. Versus here, it's different. Like you're just, you're trying to consume to satisfy, but it's like, it's like, it feels empty. It yeah. feels like, it feels empty even though I'm like, I just, I just ate a meal yeah and it'll be like a huge meal that's like heavy like i'll eat like short rib risotto and it's so much it's like mm -hmm. heavy you know and i'm just like oh okay you got like three more bites left and you're just like forcing yourself yeah. to eat but it's almost like okay but if i finish this i still got room for dessert or you know exactly. but you're already eating this heavy meal that's like a bowl size of short rib and risotto you know where it's like that's way too much I'm the yeah. same way because healthy food isn't convenient yeah we want convenient we want 
and just stop by, pick something up. But healthy food is isn't convenient. A lot of times, you have to cook it, you have to you have to mm-hmm. slice it, you have to prepare it. So, but it's not convenient, and, and that's why a lot of people fail because they don't they don't know how to cook, and they just they eat when it's they eat when it's convenient, which right. is also not not very good. Yeah. So we, we got to cook our food. We have to get our sleep. We have to drink our water. Mm-hmm. We have to exercise. And what's the last one? So oh, sleep, sleep, food, exercise, for sleep. nourishment, food for energy, water, and walking. Oh, nourishment and energy. Mm-hmm. So we so we're eating lunch and breakfast. So breakfast, dinner, breakfast and pat, lunch. you can't. Okay. I so see the cutoff. Like, I Six, see the cutoff. It's. Well, if for my, for my patients that are on, you know, the rules stop eating six hours before hours before you go to sleep. For my, for my patients that are on semi-glutide, Ozempic, Wegovy, I tell them 6 p.m. is a cutoff. Don't break that rule. Right. Because then then you'll get the heartburn and digestion. Because you want to you want to eat first of all you you want to you want to eat you want to eat for purpose. Right. And so I want the food the food that I eat I want to fuel the walking the working out that I'm doing. So breast by breakfast and lunch that's all you need. So speaking of speaking of like um, Ozempic, uh, semi-glutide. There's another one called uh, starts like, is it Manjaro? Man- yeah, Manjaro. Yeah. Manjaro. Yeah. Same what drug is, class. What is the difference between the three of those? Because now it's like you well, know, semi-glutide like- is the drug, and terzepatide is the other drug. It's called Manjaro. Same drug class. They all do this. They all do the same. Both do the same thing. So th- this is like the simple way to, to, to put it. It it holds food in your stomach longer, so you can digest it. And so that's and that, that's very good because the longer food sits in your stomach, there's actually good gut health. When the food sits in your stomach longer to get digested, you absorb more nourishment and you feel full. And you stay full longer. That's how people are able to eat less because the majority of people they're just overconsuming. Mm-hmm. On top of, and on top of that, the the taste of food in your mouth changes because have you ever noticed when you go you, you go eat an, you'll go eat an apple apple is sugar apple is sugar mm-hmm. is you know it's, tastes good it's stimulating versus you go eat a Dorito. Dorito, you take a bite, you want to take another bite, another bite. You go eat an apple, and you take one, two bites, but you're not really like satisfied yeah. and stimulated to take another bite. Yeah. But in that Dorito, there's a there's addictive chemicals in there that makes you take another bite. Mm. So one thing I like about semaglutide or Zampic or Rigovi is that it kind of like kills the satisfactory taste of food. So you don't overconsume. So not like you're like, there's oh, no it tastes appetite. good. Take another bite, another bite. Yeah. Well, you're not satisfied. You're not being stimulated by the taste of food. Got it. For a lot of people, they they eat for taste, they eat for pleasure, and right. it kind of takes that away. And on top of that, it it decreases, um, it prohibits your liver from pumping out unnecessary sugar into the bloodstream. So a lot of times, um, you're you're unhealthy is because your body's inflamed, and and mm-hmm. what inf- what inflames your liver is your lack of exercise, lack of sleep, lack of routine, lack of nourishment, too much stress, and a lot of times your liver is just pumping out sh- unnecessary sugar into the bloodstream. So so that that drug kind of st- prohibits the liver from pumping all that sugar. And and this how this is helps you lose weight because there's your body's not inflamed, you're eating less, you does not you're not being pumped full of full of um, sugar into the bloodstream because you're stressed, you're inflamed, you're not So sleeping. do you feel like when you when you do get to the point of eating less, because it's mentally stimulating you to not eat as much, mm-hmm. you, are you not getting enough? Like oh, you know that's why I tell them you my patients they're required eat breakfast and lunch you're required because it decreases your appetite right but you still satisfy the metabolic needs of the body so your body needs nourishment your body needs calories so calories you still have to eat enough food right because if you're if you're exerting 2,000 calories with the energy you have to consume 2,000 calories of energy. right so you want to so that so they're required whether you're hungry or not breakfast and lunch those are the rules breakfast and lunch so you eat breakfast and lunch you, you meet the needs of the body and you're gonna lose weight and it's and because you're eating food why is not breaking down muscle mass, muscle mass potency for energy? So when you don't eat, it doesn't work in your favor. But when you do eat, yeah, it does you work. might you might lose weight. But remember, we we healthy weight loss is sustainable, and you can keep it or maintain right. it. Once you have unhealthy weight loss, like you've seen, like the ACG diets, see you've seen like the keto, you've seen all these diets where or the, like frenchamine, which don't do frenchamine. Frenchamine is like a heart attack waiting to happen. Don't ever do it. Those are unhealthy weight loss. Yes, lost five, ten pounds, but then the moment you stop doing that those injections or those pills or that or that trend or that diet you gain, you gain right, right back because it's unhealthy it's not sustainable because because you have to eat food to lose weight mm-hmm. and, the, and these are the best times to eat that to eat that food because when you because you eat food you, and you get up and move the your food you just ate use for energy do you I, feel like do you feel like um the semi-glutide azempic we go v 
is a better solution for weight loss than fentramine. Absolutely. Fent- so fentramine is a, is a stimulant. And for a lot of people that are overweight or obese, what they're lacking is they're not in shape and they're overweight and their their heart can't take the stimulation. So fentramine, it can, it can increase your heart rate and it can increase your blood pressure. So these people that they're not in shape and they don't work out at all, they're sitting down, their heart's being pretty rapidly, being right. faster. So you're, uh, when you take when you take fentramine, you're it's like you're sitting down, but your heart's beating beating like you're standing or you're walking, mm-hmm. and so you start getting palpitations and tremors, and it's not good for you. But it's but what it, but fentramine does it just it's appet- it just suppresses appetite, and that that's kind of okay if it, if he does it at night, but you can't take it at night because it'll keep you away. Right. So you take it in the morning, and then you're not eating breakfast, you're not eating lunch, and when a drug does wear off, you're eating dinner. Right. So it's doing the exact opposite of what your body naturally needs. Got it. So that's why that's why it's bad. Versus some of the it's it decreases appetite. It's not not to, it's not to suppress. It's, and it's 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 almost like it's um it's not like it doesn't happen instantaneously. It's hmm. like a process of yeah. uh, I like it. It's like a tool. Yeah. It's a tool in tool in a, in a toolbox. So you can do it for you can do it for a month, two months, and it just it's, it just initiates you because it gives you control of your body. Right. Because I used I used to drive from the clinic and I see In and Out Burger, it like like a routine. I see it, I want it, I pull and I get some. And then when I when I was two hundred eighty five pounds and I got on Ozempic, not once did I look at it or see it. Right. It just it like block all that out, so it gave me more control. That's right. why I see, right now the patients I treat is like this is a tool, it's temporary. Right, you it's, can't use it forever. No. So what's the what's the side effects of of these um, like weight loss injections? So side effects. Majority of my patients don't have side effects, but a lot of times, their what they eat and their bad lifestyle can amplify the side effects the drug may cause. So majority of them are all jet related. So the nausea, vomiting, heartburn, indigestion, bloating, constipation. All, all that is, a lot of times it's based on what you eat and the timing you ate it. Cause you, cause you wanna, imp- you don't wanna do anything that can irritate your gut. Right. And a lot of times, any, stuff that's highly processed, like we, we, first we, everybody knows what, okay, I shouldn't eat this because I'm gonna regret it later. It's gonna, it's right. gonna cause heartburn, it's you gonna know. cause indigestion, yeah. yeah. So definitely avoid that. But the number, number one thing is to, don't consume overly processed foods and don't eat at night and also, also alcohol. Mm-hmm. So, so you, if, you, your best gut health means your ability to digest food, absorb it, is during when the sun is up. But when, but most people consume whether it's alcohol or the or the bad food is at night when your when your gut is starting to rest to get ready for tomorrow morning. But that's that's why like oh I I get really sick when I drink alcohol. Well, it's the timing. I I'm not against alcohol. I don't I don't prohibit it. I just educate about it. Like alcohol dehydrates you, it inflames you. It's bad for yeah. your gut health. And and all, and it's and that that's what leads to, to side effects. So I just I, I educate them. These side effects. This is how to avoid it. Mm-hmm. Breakfast, lunch, no eating after six p.m. And that prevents ninety five percent of the side effects. Just just don't eat don't eat, don't eat at night. And make sure you're eating breakfast, eating lunch, and also water. So the best way to know that you're not dehydrated is, I tell I tell my patients, we go to the bathroom, look at your urine. Right. If it's clear. You're right. hydrated. Right. If it's not clear, you're dehydrated. It's that simple. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, so I'm, just look. Yeah, that's I. I feel like your urine tells you everything. Mm-hmm. You know, whether whatever is going on in your body, you look at your urine. Whether it looks cloudy, whether it looks clear, whether it's too dark, yeah. like it, it tells you everything you need to know. Yeah, because you could be dehi- severely dehydrated. It can smell like a UTI. Mm-hmm. It's not a UTI. It's just it just dark. It's gonna be. Yeah, yellow or almost orange, and it smells bad just because mm-hmm. it's you're just dehydrated. It's happening multiple times where, where I, I didn't feel good. I was tired. I was like, okay, let me drink his energy drink. No difference. Like, let me eat food. No difference. I go to the bathroom and I'm like, oh, I'm just dehydrated. That's why I feel terrible. Like, I'm just the day's just dragging. I just have my mood is down. Everything. It's just I was just dehydrated, and and it's as simple as like for I would say two to three liters of water a day. Water, water, water. Because I know a lot of people don't don't like to drink water because I have to go to the bathroom, but yeah. it's so vital. Like I've seen when I'm dehydrated, my mood is just, I just, I'm not yeah. in the mood. Yeah, you're not in the mood not to do mood. anything. Nothing. I, don't, I, yeah. I, can't build, I can't build up any energy, any motivation. I'm drinking energy drinks and I'm like, oh, I'm just dehydrated. So I just gotta, just yeah. gotta chug. 
chug yeah, water. Yeah, and it, and it's I feel like too, for me water is easy to drink because that's mm-hmm. all that I drink. But it's like when I'm drinking, you know, twenty ounces of usually I take twenty ounces of water, and I could drink that whole bottle in like one sitting and yeah. like, okay now i can eat or and then i eat less because i just drink so much water you know it's almost like if i drink water before i eat a meal it makes my meal or makes my eating less because i yeah, just you drink fill it so up. much yeah i say water is your third meal if you're hungry yeah. at night drink just chug water at night yeah because a lot of times that that hunger comes because the, the hunger is like it's, it's momentarily you see that the hunger comes are you going to satisfy it or are you going to ignore it it's hard to ignore it right but just chug, chug water and you fill your, fill up your stomach you're okay i'm not hungry anymore you, you can ignore it i like water's the third meal yeah that's, that's what i like so out of all the things that you feel that would be most i guess bad for your body what are those like three things that are the worst thing that you can possibly eat at night that you should oh. stay away from first I, first i would say sugar sugar is the best in the morning sugar at night is just you're just gonna gain weight. It's because you're not you're not gonna use, use any of that sugar. Not, when I say sugar, it's 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 healthier to eat apple in the morning than to eat at night. Mm-hmm. So I I definitely avoid any sugar. I, I would avoid any any alcohol, and I would probably avoid meals that are very hard to digest. Like digesting meat. Like red meat. Well, digesting meat at night is very hard because you're just your efficiency to digest is not is not there. Right. So I would just that, that's that's what why about I, like when people work out at night like if I'll they eat before eat before you I'll work before, out I'll and before. then yeah yeah see people t- taking all these pre workouts and and um and protein powders no eat and eat an hour before you go work out I promise you you'll have the best workout ever you you'll just you'll work out and, and feel like you could go all day because you ate a meal before you worked out a lot of people will eat will eat. will work out then go eat, eat after and think but that what did your protein. what did your body use for energy mm-hmm. to fuel that workout. So that's, right. I, I tell people all the time, they're like, oh, what about the gym at night? Eat before you go to the gym. Got you it. go work at seven, eat at six, and you'll see huge improvement. Got it. Your skin looked great, by the way. Thank you Glowing. so much. I did, what did I do? I did, um, I did a treatment with you. Yeah, so we did, we did a spectra laser, which, which, and we put charcoal in your face, and that charcoal will, will pull all the, all the dead skin, all the oils, whatever, whatever thing on top of your skin, the, the charcoal will, will, will absorb it. Mm-hmm. And then the laser will just re- remove that charcoal and pull that dead skin, exfoliate, submit collagen, oh, give it a skin so glow. Yeah. And then we did marketing right afterwards. The marketing will, uh, is, is for, it makes your skin smooth, close over your pores, get rid of the scars. So that's Im- improves the skin texture. So yeah, combined together, your, your skin's glowing and it's smooth and looks great. Thank you so much. Now he literally, um, I came in there, I had, um, I did extractions too. So mm-hmm. that was, that's one thing like, you know, um, with microneedling, everything comes to the surface. Yes. So everything came to the surface, and I was like, "Wait, you know, you kind of go through that moment of you're breaking out before your your mm-hmm. skin looks good." So yeah. I'm like, "Okay, I I have a bad habit of like picking my own pimples." Yes. And like I'm like, "Oh, let me let me go pick this," and then it leaves a scar. So I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna be smart this time and just go get extractions." And I had like maybe three or four extractions that I had to do, and then and then you know it it shows up as a little scab and then once the scab is thick, gone away. it's completely gone and you don't have the scar you know so i i feel like with with skin if you don't take care of it if you're picking your skin or if you're again back to foods you're eating the wrong foods greasy mm-hmm. foods um e- your skin doesn't look as good you know Absolutely. Um, and and i've another thing that i've added on to is a uh, sea moss to my like, everyday that. routine and it's just how's been, it helping you i've heard oh about it's it. so good it's oh. so good and i i mix mine with like mango and like blueberry or shawry banana because it doesn't have the best taste by uh, itself. Does it? i know <laughs> it everybody's like talking sea. about it and all the benefits of it but yeah. i haven't i haven't tried it or it's good. Involved. I'll give you some. That, some yeah, mass. yeah. It's really. I, I I do it in a gel, and I just literally take like two teaspoons a day, two tablespoons a, a day, because I mix it with uh, mm. other fruits, and it's not just like pure sea moss by itself. So when it's just pure by itself, I just take one tablespoon a day, and it just everything like it's it's helped from you know future breakouts for me, and like uh, I like it. I like it. And my daughter has eczema, so I put it, it all grows. over her. Yeah. What I found that helps get rid of my acne, because I'll get, sometimes I'll get like acne here or on my shoulders or on my chest is 
the moment I see like a blemish or I see a pimple like rising to the surface, I'll just pluck any hair nearby. Oh yes, you did say that. Yeah. Because I'll do that like on my chest or my shoulders. I'll pl I'll, what if I see people coming? I'll pluck any hair nearby. So what if there's no away. hair? Well, you have you have you might not be able to see it. Maybe it's the same. It's the same shade as your skin tone, or you just just take some tweezers and pluck around it. I'm guarantee you there's some hairs. It, that's, the hair follicle is inflamed, and that's where the mm. pimple comes from. So that's that works. That was works for me, and, and even even if you have like if you have keloids. Or you have bumps in the back of your neck. Just pluck the okay. pluck all the hair nearby that could be inflaming that pore, or inflaming the area, and it will go away. So what about? Okay, this is a trick I heard from my hairstylist. Shout out to Nay. Um, she's Jamaican, and she said this is what Jamaican people oh, do when they have tips like and um, ingrowns, right? The inside of an egg, the like the inside of an egg has like a shell almost, like a like a thin like barrier, I guess. Oh yeah. She said, take that and like put it on wherever your ingrown is. And then overnight, it literally does work. <laughs> it works. Try it, guys. It's like you just take it and almost like put it like, let's say if I had a pimple right here, put it in like a, as a band aid almost and just let it sit there. And then whatever's in that egg that like the, the nutrition in the egg, I don't know, it makes it like dry out, huh. flatten it out and goes away. Because I see people have those pimple patches where they put a little patch here. Yes. Here. Maybe it's the same ingredients. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't looked into it. Yeah, it's it's literally like the like you open an egg and there's this like thin white barrier, almost like clear, transparent, but ah, white looking. You. And you just take it and you just. I wonder what it does. I have no idea. But then it's probably the a trend. You, yeah, by the time you like take it out, it's it's not. It's obviously no longer moist, and mm -hmm. it's just like oh okay, it's not inflamed or it's not an ingrown anymore, and that hair is out oh but it's I, crazy my skin my skincare routine is i do the spectra laser or hollywood laser that, yeah that reduces, that's essential though. yeah that prevents my acne and makes my skin glow then you mark needling yeah, i still that's essential. i see still use body wash i still wash my, my face with a towel yeah. and my my skincare routine is literally i just do the laser and mark needling because when you, how, do you do it monthly or well i have access to it so i'll try to do it once a month okay but, but what is like what is let's say for example for me how often do i need to go to like keep, help maintain for you i would probably do if you have if you're not we're not cheating you for any like huge pores or huge scars right. so if you just just maintenance because your skin gets hit with with friction sun water so you, your, your skin gets damaged all the time so we want to out with the old skin and with the new skin so i would i, I you could do the spectral laser once once a once a month you could do the market needling once every three months and that's, that's perfectly good because you just because the skin on top is already damaged so you you want to remove that remove because this skin is already dead mm -hmm. that layer is already dead so you want to remove that, that layer of skin so the skin the skin underneath it is youthful it doesn't it's not going to contour to the huge pore or those huge scars there so i like i like doing the laser first and market needling after same treatment same day because the laser will will, will kill all the bacteria cement collagen Make your skin glow and exfoliate you, and then Mac Beanling comes in and really just makes your skin nice and s nice and Texture smooth, wise, yeah. and, and can empty out those pores and empty out because I still get I used to have really bad acne. I had, to, I had scars coming all the way down here, and they 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 start to resurface every like three months. So I'm like, okay, yeah. I gotta I gotta skincare like, routine. I gotta yeah. get I gotta make my skin glow look good because because you are you are a representation of how people see you. So Absolutely. if I if I want to promote or teach educate you on weight loss or beauty i have to look the part absolutely yeah, you, you can't you know you can't be an overweight trainer you can't be yeah. an unhealthy doctor you can't yeah you, you can't you have to treat face yeah. and be loaded with acne yeah, you see all the time you see like this you see all these people that are trying to promote or sell something or you know the, this is their profession but they don't look the part right you know if i go if i go to a trainer <laughs> you better, better have, have abs packs. Yeah, you gotta have abs. Yeah, and if I go to you for skin skin care, you, like I'll, I I want my skin to look like you, so Absolutely. you you have to look like what did you do? Exactly. Yeah, that's look. when I came in. I'm like, what did you do to your skin? I want yeah. it. Yeah, yeah if, absolutely. If you come to me, I, like I shouldn't. I, I don't want to look at my age. I don't want to look 32. I want to look 27. Right. That's and, and and a lot of times the patients, some people I've met, just met, be like your skin looks great. What do you do? I was like, I do laser mark needling. Oh, I want that too. Right. And that's what, and that like what better advertising yeah. than yourself? I'm not even trying to sell. I'm just trying to. I'm just educating. Right. I'm, I'm being a representation of okay, you look great. 
what are you doing? Because I want to do that too. Right. That's why a lot of people follow you. A lot of a lot of people from Netflix, but I see a lot of women that follow you. I follow you too. Like, oh, what's she doing next? Right. Because whatever she's doing, I want to do it too. Yeah. I'm glad you so much. Because you're doing you're doing great. Like <laughs> Thank entrepreneur. You. Your body looks great. Your skin is glowing. You're working hard. I'm like, okay, I want to do that too. I want to get on. I want to get on, on her level, her energy, her motivation, so I can match it also. That's that's why I, that's why I see like people follow you. Like, okay, she's looking good. Her skin looks good. She's working all the time. She's she's doing ten different things. So why can't I do that? Absolutely, absolutely. No, I I do the same thing, guys. I do the micro needle, micro needling, and the laser as well too, and the charcoal, and every body treatment you could think of. I do it all, and you just you just gotta find the time to do it. You gotta find the time to Invest do it. Invest in you yourself. Gotta, you have to first and foremost before anything else, because it's like if you're not believable, how are you gonna sell, yeah. market, advertise, promote whatever it is that you're doing next? Because it's like, well, you don't look like you're in the gym or you don't exactly. look like you take care of your skin or you don't look like you i don't know whatever it is that you're doing mm -hmm. it has to make sense has to and it's it, i just feel like you know when when you look the part you act the part you can you're knowledgeable about the part yeah, show confidence it, yes like you start working out you stand different you you yes. walk different you, yes. your, your clothes when different. your clothes fit better like you, feel you, can, you can stand up with your chest, be like, okay, this because there's muscle here. Yeah. Versus like my shoulders like this because I'm, yeah. just, you know, this is just this fat. There's no muscle here. But when you work out, like, okay, yeah, I have confidence. Feel, like yeah. clothes fit better, and people people see that. Absolutely. Because like if for me it's like okay, I'm tired. Drink water. Get up for a walk. Or hey, I'm stressed. I'm depressed. Go work out or go do boxing. Yeah. I started doing boxing to release stress because like okay, it feels good when I just go punch something, mm -hmm. and and I just release whatever stress or anger or just go do boxing. Boxing so, is such a great workout. It's 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 different. It's, it's, it's hard, different. but it's, it's you can just release. Yes. Like like because a lot of you know guys like to hold it in, mm -hmm. but then you, you go go do Attention. boxing and just yeah let it out. Yeah. Like if it, it, it feels good, feels to let good. it out. Yeah, it does. It, it does. Feels good. It feels good. I used to do um, Muay Thai a lot and punch kick yeah elbows. it was a workout i used it to do is. it outside and it was like who it was intense and i was like 30 minutes of this and i am good to go i don't need Ooh, nothing yeah. else i don't need to be in the gym i don't need to run out it was like intense training and that's when i was on like trx and stuff too and i was oh, like yeah, oh TRX. My gosh trx is the best and you're using like your body weight for everything yeah, it's, it's on tv and you're doing it at home yeah like yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can you, you can even do it like where if you have like a, a bench system you or whatever you can like literally tie it onto something and mm. just like use your own weight to hold on to the um to hold on to the handles and you know do a squat and you could literally feel it more or plank and it's way different than just doing it without it because you're using your own body weight it's intense yeah, that, those workouts are rough. Yeah, it's I started doing boxing more time because the regular gym routine got boring. Yeah, but, you know you, you have this. to switch it up too. You have to switch it up. Body. Yeah, I would, that's another thing too. Yeah, like, what worked for me was I'll work out Monday, boxing Tuesday, work out Wednesday, more time Thursday, to do something differently. Yeah, because it feels it feels so good to just go punch. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. go punch something, go kick something. Yeah, go do boxing more time. It feels great. Just yeah, you release it and, and it's a completely different workout too. Yeah. Like you can really get toned up and you're like, oh, now I, I'm getting in shape. hundred and ten But also you're like, okay, now I kind of know how to fight. So I can defend myself. But also for me, it's like, okay, my stress just plummeted. My depression plummeted. It, it got really It fun. helps with so much mm -hmm. outside of just working out. Like, you yeah. know, it helps with your metabolism. Oh, it helps yeah. with just everything because it's such a... It's almost like you just think that you're using your arms, but you're using your hips, you're using your legs, oh, yeah. your stance, you punch with your, your body. whole body. Yeah. It's your whole body, and people are just thinking like it's just your upper body, and it's not. Yeah, it's so much more. And one time, I ate very poorly before I went to the to the class, and I'm just like sweating, and my energy's tanking. I'm like, what's going on? I was like, oh, I, I kind of ate very badly the, the day before. I was eating some, I was eating potato chips, and you know, and I could tell like, okay, this, the food I ate was was slowing me down. Mm -hmm. Like I, I can tell like my. I'm just like sweating profusely. I was like, what's going on? And like, I'm like slipping over my sweat. I was like, okay, I'm not eating poorly ever again before I come here. Oh my gosh. Cause... I remember I remember one time I ate pizza before I decided to work out with Deontay. And Ooh. we, um, it, on our property in Alabama, we have like a trail that goes up a hill, down a hill, like 
is it's a long trail and he's you know he's obviously an athlete and he's, he's like up hurry and down, up, up keep, keep up and i'm like god damn it i'm tired like <laughs> you know i literally threw up my entire pizza that day like right after we worked out and i was like oh i think one or, you know one slice of pepperoni pizza is not going to do anything like it fucked me up oh yeah it fucked me i was dr- and then you know alabama sun is different than the sun out here oh it's humid humidity. right now right oh. now then right now my brother's there right now he's like it's a it's like a it's 100 degrees but it feels 110 because yes. it's so humid it's, as soon as you come the out of the you. door you sweat it's yeah. like sweat beads everywhere you're just covered in the humidity and, yeah. and like it just you don't even have to do anything the over there to lose weight just go outside yeah, just go and out, just like just go outside and marinate. You're, just like, you're like boiling okay yeah. okay, okay i've got it because my, my brother he just visited me in, in, in la he was like alabama was too hot so we're coming here because it's, it's cooler too hot it's way too, it's a different type of heat mm-hmm. all right so for everyone that comes on the show we play this game oh dirty minds i'm dirty describing mind? something to you and you're gonna guess what it is you can pick three cards you can mix it up however you want to so do it pick. you're smart you're gonna you're gonna do great in this oh pick them give them to me sorry and then i'll pick the bottom one over here okay dirty minds all right i come in waves if i'm big enough you'll feel me inside of you it can sometimes hurt when i come in your ear if I'm really big, the neighbors might complain. Hard banging can make me bigger. <laughs> no idea. Noise. <laughs> I come in waves. Yeah. Noise waves. I'm big enough you can feel me inside of you. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. It can sometimes hurt when I come in your ear. The if ringing. I'm really oh. big, the neighbors might complain. <laughs> Hard banging can make me bigger. <laughs> I might have so dirty right then. I was like, what is this? <laughs> is this a new device? <laughs> All right. I like that. That was cool. I like it. Next one. After your panties are wet, you really need me. If you got a big load, I might go down on you. Sometimes you have to pay to stick your dripping thing in me. After I'm done, you can pull out your wrinkled one. Yeah, it's a washer and dryer, like a laundry machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't have that issue. I, don't, I never wore those. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. One. Last one. I sit on your face. Sometimes there's hair growing around me. You're happy when I come. You you have to use your lips to do me. I'm stuck between your cheeks. Wait, say one more time. Say one more time. I got this. I, you got this. I got that. I got this. I sit on your face. Sometimes there's hair growing around me. Oh my God. You're happy when I come. That's the best one. That's the best best clue. You have to use your lips to do me. I'm stuck between your cheeks. Dude, You're dead. doing it right now. Teeth? No. Tongue. Close. Lip? In the vicinity. My lips? My cheek? Oh. In between your cheeks, you have Nose. to use your lips when you do me. You're happy when I come. Best best description. I have happy I when have you a tongue, come. I have lips. Smile. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You did good. You said though. cheeks. I was like. Yeah, in between your cheeks. And there's hair. I was like. Happy when you come. That was the best one. Happy when you come. But there, it's just almost so hard to get your mind off of like the dirty. It is, thing. and I'm smiling right now. I'm like, oh, it is a smile. It's that simple. <laughs> that simple. Tell everybody where they can find I'm like, you. I'm using my brain power right now, and this isn't working. <laughs> it, it was our um, our waters that we had. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so my name is practitioner on med. I do aesthetics at Skin Perfect on Robertson. I also I also do um, weight loss, vitamin drips, pain relief, and adjustments at the Pain Relief Center on Third Street, all in West Hollywood. And testosterone, testosterone and O shots and male all, enhancement, all that good female enhancement. Stuff. I, do, yes. I do all that. So I can make you healthier, prettier, younger, you feel good. That's what I'm good at. Yes. And make sure you guys go check out practitioner Ahmed and all things that he has going on. And that is it for Tele Talks. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs>